Well, I'm joined in the studio by Dr. Ali Cooper from Prostate Cancer UK. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Um, what is it that makes black men more susceptible to prostate cancer than their white and Asian counterparts? So yes, this research has shown that black men are at double the risk of being diagnosed with and dying from prostate cancer in the UK. But at the moment, we don't know those exact reasons. Um, so Prostate Cancer UK is funding some research at the very right now to try and answer those questions. But until we have those answers from that research and other research from around the world, we don't know. It could be genetic, it could be linked to hormones, and all these avenues are being investigated. But right now we don't have those answers. So the message at the moment is just we need black men to be aware of their increased risk. But what you do know, though, is that they are at increased risk. And also that scientists for the first time identified, from what I understand, five distinct types of prostate cancer, each with its own genetic fingerprint. Mm. How will this improve our understanding of the disease? So yes, this research has, has identified this difference in risk between black men, white men and Asian men. That's really important because if it turns out it is linked to genetics, it means in the future we can target treatments or target diagnosis with that very specific knowledge in mind. The other research you mentioned also came out today, a different publication that found, found these five subtypes of prostate cancer. That's really important for targeted treatments as well. So, so how can a person, possibly a black man, mm. better understand their risk of developing prostate cancer? Sure. Well, the reason why we did this work was that previously we had really quite out-of-date data based on data from the 90s. So we did, one of the reasons we did it was to give black men and all men updated data. Also, now we can actually say to a group of black men, one in four of you will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. We've never been for and one in 12 will die so now they can be armed with this information and they can take take this information and go and talk to their GP and know their risk and maybe once they've had a discussion with their GP have as you mentioned earlier a PSA blood test to decide perhaps if they have prostate cancer so that's the message we're spreading and this study was essentially based in England for a two-year period wasn't it yes yeah, so what we did was we used cancer registry data for men that were diagnosed or died from prostate cancer between 2008 and 2010 and that's the statistics that we used to calculate these risk figures is it is it would you I mean you're, you're the medical expert do you consider it to be a sort of limited test group because I mean what I'm trying to understand and get my my head around is the fact that you know the, the, the black community is quite diverse if, yeah. for example if you look at African Americans I mean they're mixed with all kinds of different groups of you know ethnicities from around the world mm -hmm. and in the UK you've got the Caribbeans you've got the Africans yeah. and even within Africa you've got people who have closer genetic connections to Caucasians yeah. in places like Ethiopia for example yeah. um, how do you extrapolate from that that you know black men are more susceptible to prostate cancer sure well maybe just first to say when we say black men in the study what we're referring to is the actual census definition of the major ethnic group black so that's people who self-report as either black African black Caribbean or black other maybe black British so that's why that's what the definition is but you're absolutely right we will have a mixture of generations and um, within that so one of the sort of caveats of this research is we can only go on self-reported ethnicity but that in itself is still useful, which is mm. why we did this for research. Uh, absolutely. And, and so obviously you're going to do a, a bigger study. You're going to do more of this. Yes, yeah, so well, now we know this, and now we've been confirmed that the risk is double, so the risk of diagnosis and dying is double in black men. Um, we will continue as a charity, Prostate Cancer UK, to fund research into risk factors, understanding the differences, why some men are more susceptible than others, and try and really get the answers for the My future. My producer is saying we've got to go, but just very briefly, how aggressive is prostate cancer generally? Is it a pussycat? or a tiger? Well, it can be both. Um, what, what the most important thing to know is that most early prostate cancers don't have any symptoms, but if you catch it at that stage, that's when the man has the best chance of treating it and surviving from the disease. That's the pussycats, and that's what we want men to diagnose. Dr. Ali Cooper, we're very grateful to you for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much indeed. Thanks.